Right, today we've got Mike from MJL Garden Design. Um, he's doing his first garden design at Malvern this year, so looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's only a week away, so it's, it's quite important. Yeah, uh, first question, obviously, you know, it's quite important on garden design. How did you actually first want to become a garden designer? Um, I suppose it all started when I was about 16. Uh, my my mum was diagnosed with cancer and uh, she always wanted a pond built in her, in her garden, so I built one. Okay. So, and uh, it kind of sort of came from that really. Uh, my, my grandfather as well, he was, he was an architect, um, so I've always sort of been interested in uh, design and, and sort of buildings through him and it, it sort of developed so uh, so after that um, as you know uh, weekend work and uh, sort of in school holidays I've worked for builders labouring um, and then uh, I went into after school I went into block paving so I was sort of you know doing, doing stuff like that for, for a gang a local gang and then um, uh, and then I then got myself to university, so I studied landscape architecture at uh, Leeds Metropolitan. I uh, graduated in 2006 and then never really looked back. Brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, so obviously Malvern Gardens coming up. Um, so where did you actually get the inspiration for the garden? Uh, well, it, it, it actually uh, came from uh, in, in 2022 when I built the last garden at Malvern for uh, a, a colleague of mine. Mm. Um, I came I finished that and went, and went to go and quote a few jobs um, in my local area, um, and it was all on new building, new build housing estates. Yeah. Um, and everyone was kind of having the same sort of thing done. So it was a patio, artificial grass, um, and sort of ground fencing. Not not really sort of any design that went into it. So. Yeah. And, and what I what I felt was it felt like is that when people are doing this, um, they're sort of increasing the carbon footprint yeah. again by having to kind of muck away all, all the rubbish mm. and, and and bring materials in. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to show that actually you could have a really beautiful on-train garden, uh, but think about you know what materials you've got there already, and it, was there a way of keeping the carbon footprint a bit lower and bringing biodiversity back yeah. um, habitat uh, yeah. which you may want which before a lot of housing estates they, they're on brownfield greenfield sites and mm. um, habitat has has kind of been decimated by the bill so it was there's, there's a few little a mixture, mixture, in there, mixture yeah. of them there yeah. and, and trying to get it to all yeah. blend really. yeah. and sustainability is obviously key to the garden it's um, it's a massive um, part of the garden actually. Um, it's been a, a really, really big learning curve. Um, so yeah, sustainability means a lot of different things to different people. Um, and what it what it meant from the for, from the garden point of view is um, you know looking at what's already there. So looking at the soil, you know, can we improve the soil rather than importing soil in? Um, can we look at materials? So um, it's kind of thinking about what materials we're using. So in, in the garden for Morgan, we're using Corten steel. Okay. Um, and the reason we're using Corten steel is it's the longevity of it. It's um, it, in its lifespan, it will last up to a hundred years. Yeah. Um, it's hundred percent recyclable. Mm. Um, you know, whereas traditionally, if you're making raised beds, you could be using uh, railway sleepers. But the reality is, six seven years down the line. You're going to have to replace that they're because it's not going to rot. Yeah. We're, we're using a, a really, really cool product called Blackball, which is a, a recycled windscreen, okay. um, and it's fired, and it almost looks like a pumice stone. Yeah. It's, it's lightweight. Um, it's been used in the building industry before, um, you know, for for landscaping products, but right. no, never in an RHS show before. Okay, this was the first. A first for yeah. the RHS yeah. show. Yeah, we've also been looking at. Um, reusing elements from different show gardens previously so you know some of the material um, like the, the medites we're, we're using for the, for the fencing mm. which was on the medite smart fly garden the yeah. HLC okay. um, and also we're using uh, borrowed plants as well um, from which have been in various shows and yeah. um, so we're just trying to think about how you, know, you can reuse products reuse but also how 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 show gardens kind of uh, act 
adapt after it really yeah. and how we can repurpose those elements yeah. so you know the majority of the the hard landscaping elements um they're going to be going back to the suppliers yeah you know they can be reused yeah. and the, 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 the planting again borrowed ones will go back and then the rest of the planting um, is going to go to um, uh, the soil association yeah. so yeah. it's all been repurposed in a different way so yeah. it's not been relocated yeah. in, a, in a hole but it's it is kind of thinking about what's on site already can we can you know on, on private jobs can we um, can we recycle yeah. what's there like the rubble for instance yeah. can we crush it up to make yeah. our Hard. What is the main sort of thing you want people to take away? I think when people come to see the garden, I think what I want them to see is that this is actually a real garden. This is yeah. a real garden that can be anywhere in the UK, any yeah. new build property, um, or, or you know, sort of older property. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that people can actually see that you you haven't got to be you know, certainly on new build properties. You haven't got to be worried about your soil. You can improve it. Yeah. It it can make a a beautiful garden yeah. um, and you know good for, for wildlife as well yeah. Um, but yeah I, I, you know I'll, we're going to try and showcase some of the ways that we have built it as well mm -hmm. so we're doing some display boxes like for the paving for the ground screws um, and we're just kind of so show the public can actually see yeah. what you've yeah, done within the garden yeah because this is this is stuff that they don't see this garden you know a high percentage of it is um, that you, you know we we're not using cement, we're, we're thinking of different ways to, 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 to showcase um, a sustainable build. Um, the reality is, you know, when you're inclined, you might not be able to do that, but making small changes, like thinking where you're going to be using concrete, does it need to be, you know, do we need to use concrete? Can we look at alternatives to that? You know, it's just little things like that. So what is it you want to try and get from the, the, the you know, the, the garden at night? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, the, I mean, obviously, it's to try and get these night shots, you know, from from the you know, sort of picture perspective. But, but the, the other thinking of there uh, with it was, and I, and I remember speaking to you about it probably about eighteen months ago. Yeah. This is a real garden, mm -hmm. and you know, the reality is, is if people are using it for their you know evenings, um, you know, entertaining, relaxing at weekends, etc., um, etc., et they're going to want to put lighting in it, um, and you know, that's the that's the point. It's 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 not real garden. This, 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 is, real, this yeah. is real. This isn't, you know, this could, this could be anywhere in the UK. And the lighting, I, I mean, from a design point of view and from, you know, from the stuff I do with my business, mm. um, lighting is always very important. Um, yeah. so, so it can be used all year round. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing the Collingwood lights sort of up, up lighting, yeah. especially that large tree you have. I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. that lit because it does change the whole, whole view of the garden. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got um, one of the, the lights is going at the back. We're going to look like a, a tree. Uh, so it's a Malus Everest multi stem. So it's really nice. It's a looking tree. That's a good tree, yeah. Um, nice. And then we've got some um, some of the smaller spots that are going to sort of shine across either side of the, the stepping stones yeah. and highlight the water bowls that are going to go in yeah. as well. Pick a bit, a bit of that sort of um, the, 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 the pavers as well. Got yeah, yeah. Pass and the pavers but, as well. But yeah, but yeah, big, yeah. The uh, the jointing sand is, is uh, recycled wine bowl, so yeah. hopefully it will, it will just pick that up. Catch a little bit of that. Uh, but it's also a practical element because this is, you know, based on a real garden. Yeah. You know, from, from uh, you know, from the couple who are going to be using it on the evenings, and um, you, know, you want to be able to kind of see through yeah. that, that direction to the just the, the safety, the seating safety area. walking through to the seating area. Yeah. yeah. And now we're on the finished garden, and uh, he's actually won a gold, which is absolutely brilliant. We've got a bit of a team, so uh, so Nadine was involved with all the project management, the procurement of materials. Uh, she was even growing the irises for me, um, and and sort of get, making all the contacts, making sure that we, we had all the right people here. And then um, yeah, so the planting team uh, made up from uh, Ruth, Shirley, and Jane, um, and then but not forgetting we, we had people. Volunteering, we had we had someone. Anna came all the way from Belfast. Oh wow! For a few days yeah. uh, to come and help. Yeah. Um, and you know, ju just people we know in the industry who have been behind the whole message, really. Yeah. And is that Anna who won the World Skills? Yes, she yeah. was. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. taught her during the World Skills. So she's yeah. she's a very talented young girl as well. Yeah. So, yeah. And um, she's uh, she's now at Chelsea. She couldn't have done it without anyone. Sort of. Like I say, every, everyone was behind the message and behind me on yeah. this. So, yeah, and, yeah. But it's 
it, it's important to acknowledge the fact that this is a team. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's been. It's been worth it. I mean, yeah. Gold is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? So, in a beautiful yeah. day to, to, to get it in the first first yeah. open day. Um, yeah. So, you've got a few people actually experiencing the garden as well. Yeah. So, um, hopefully, some nice comments come back. Yeah, some, some really good comments. Um, obviously, there's a lot of interest in such, some of the, the more unusual plants yeah. um, and the, the, the features in the garden and, and kind of the sustainable build practices yeah. that we've been yeah. using. Um, and the lights. Yes, the lights, you can't forget the lights, yeah. lovely little Collingwood lights. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see them later on in the evening. I mean, looking at the wall, it's stunning. It's got a habitat for, yeah. for wildlife. Um, yeah. It actually gives just that sort of um, a different texture to a wall. Yeah. Um, I just think it's, it's a great. I can't believe you actually sanded every one by hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we, we had, yeah, it was definitely by hand, yeah. No fingerprints yeah, left. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so yeah, about two months, I think, in total, just getting yeah. that prepped. But I think it was worth it. Uh, and and the public really, you know, there's a lot of positive comments about it, yeah. actually. Yeah, no, I think it's good.